Hi, I'm Michael Sandy, Product Specialist for Clico Production Tools. And all across the globe, we get asked the same question. How can we be sure, 100%, that our operators know the difference between a good rundown and a bad rundown? Our answer is Neotech. Every Neotech tool comes equipped with four ultra-bright LED light rings that are fully programmable. Now, instead of an operator having to take their eyes off of the workpiece to check the status of a light stack, we can literally put the light stack into their hands. As delivered, the tools come pre-programmed with a few default outputs. The green LED indicates an okay rundown. The red LED indicates a not okay rundown. Pretty industry standard. Now, we realize these tools can be used in a variety of applications and a variety of configurations. They can be handheld, they can be fixtured. They can even be behind a cage where they can't be touched. For this reason, we've set the blue LED to indicate that the tool is in operation or that the spindle is rotating. This gives you an immediate indication of what's going on in a work cell. Zero doubts. Now, as we said, these are all customizable. Let me show you how. From the run screen, let's press the navigator button. This takes us to the main menu. We call this the navigator menu. Let's press the advanced button. Now, since these lights are relaying information to us, they're notifying us of a status, we call them outputs. So let's select the outputs tab. If we had multiple tools connected to this controller, they can be corded or cordless, they would also show up in this menu as well. But for now, let's just choose tool one. Here you'll see all the default options mentioned previously. Let's say for your facility, you'd like for the operator to not only know if the rundown was bad, but also that the angle was too low. Easy. Let's change the yellow LED to angle low. Now, why might this be important? There's a couple of reasons. First, it could alert them of a possible cross thread and prevent a scrap situation. Or, by using one of our advanced programming strategies, it could indicate a missing component such as a washer, which will prevent bad or incomplete product from being sent further down the line. As another example, let's say that recently you've added a proximity sensor to this station. And let's also say that there's enough time between parts that the operator can actually set the tool down. Maybe they have to grab a handful of bolts, or maybe they need to place a few brackets. Whatever the case may be, we can set the Neotech tool up to notify the operator when the part is in station and the tool is ready to run. Let's change the blue LED to Tool Enabled. Now, when the part enters the station, it hits the proximity sensor, the blue LED will illuminate and let the operator know it's time to perform a rundown. Having the LED light rings wrap around the body of the tool allows the operator to be completely informed and totally aware of what's going on in the process, regardless of the orientation of the tool. In addition to using the lights to notify the operator, we can program the tool to both vibrate and make an audible alert, both of which are fully customizable. So for not okay rundowns, these additional notification methods can really get the operator's attention. At the end of the day, we all want to feel like we've done a good job. Set your team members up for success by allowing them to become more engaged in the process, and productivity will increase. These aren't the only ways the Neotech tool can provide notifications to the operator. For additional Clico solutions, be sure to check out our other videos. And to find out more or to schedule a demo in your facility, please visit us at clicotools.com.